Here I'm going to show you how to more easily edit a formula within the window for conditional formatting and named ranges. So here I've got a nice little formula for the conditional formatting that I made for a recent tutorial. And let's go ahead and take this, copy it, and apply it to store 1, 2, and 3. Go to conditional formatting, new rule, and we go to use a formula to determine which cells to format. Click right in here, paste the formula, and look, it's a nice, beautiful formula. But what happens the moment I hit an arrow key? Left. Bam. Great, I got this lovely cell reference, and I keep moving the arrow keys around, and it keeps changing. Which makes it very difficult when you have a big formula here that goes off of this little window because you can't resize it. I can't make this guy bigger. And even if you could make him bigger, if your screen resolution allows for this to work really well so it never goes over the edge, it doesn't matter. The arrow keys still aren't going to work so well. So let's delete this and redo it. I'm going to paste in my formula and now hit F2 on the keyboard. Now when I do this, watch. Look down here all the way to the left. It says Enter. Now watch what happens when I hit F2. It goes to Edit Mode. Just a hidden little tiny feature. Now it doesn't make it easier to actually build the formula, it just means that I can use my arrow keys right now and go left and right. So it's like you got a little taste of freedom with this F2 shortcut. But you still don't get the code highlighting if I go up here. I still don't get to see the cells that are selected. It's not going to be a really great way to build your formula, just sort of verify that it is what it is supposed to be. So still build your formula out here in the worksheet, but when you are in here, use F2 to make it easier to work with. And if you want to get back to the very annoying default usage, hit F2 again, and then the keys will make it like that. Now with a named range, it is exactly the same. So if we want to go to the formulas tab and define a name or go to name manager and then click new, it takes you to the same window, this window right here. And we have this, it refers to the cells that were selected before this window opened up. Now let's look down here again. We see point in the bottom left. If I use my arrow keys, it's going to do this thing where it moves around the worksheet and gives me a reference. If I paste it in, and now I use my arrow keys again to go to the left, it does the same thing. But F2, just like before, we now see edit in the bottom left, and we can use the arrow keys to go all the way to the left if we need to. Now here I can resize the window, but sometimes you want to use the arrow keys, especially if you're just using keyboard shortcuts for everything.